Hi, welcome back to the channel. Um, Apps Events is a partner with TextHelp. It's a, a great company with a lot of great adaptive learning technologies. Uh, and one of their tools is called Read and Write, which is a literacy, literacy support tool that offers help with everyday tasks like reading out loud, understanding familiar words, researching assignment, and proofing written work. So I'm delighted to have Carrie Ann Gibson from TextHelp with me today. And we're going to give a quick overview of the product. Hi, hi Carrie Ann. Hi, Dan. Thanks for having me. Um, shall I go ahead and just Yeah, I'm right bringing it here. It? So let's, let's give a quick overview. Okay, perfect. Um, so it's, it's quite hard to, um, to show read and write in a short space of time. There is so much to the toolbar, but I'm going to do my best to try and keep it short and just show some of the key features that help with reading, that help with study and revision, and that help with writing. Um, the beauty of Read and Write as well is that it works in multiple languages. It works on any platform, any device, any content type. So we're really wherever the student is learning, wherever learning is happening, Read and Write can be there to support. So just to, to kick off, firstly, um, I have my Read and Write toolbar opened up here um, as a Chrome extension, just really, really quick and easy to access. And one of the main features of Read and Write is the text to speech tool. So I'm just going to pop in and click the play button and let you see how that looks. So with our text to speech, we have dual color highlighting and what that does is it helps the student to follow along um, with what they're reading. It helps with their tracking and processing with things like word site recognition and things like pronunciation. So I'm just going to quickly pop into the settings here and show that there are lots and lots of different voices. I personally love the Scottish accent, so that's the one that I have chosen. But there are lots of different English accents here and lots and lots of different um, language voices as well. So that will read aloud text in other languages at the same time. Do you have a, do you have a your English Yorkshire accent in there? I didn't, I didn't check. Um, I don't think we do, but um, that's Oh, you're missing out on the main one. <laughs> I, I must actually ask if that's one we can get access to. Yeah. Um, we do actually get requests quite often for different voices and um, different languages and things. So quite sure. recently we added Ukrainian in there, for example. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's something that we're, we're kind of constantly updating. Okay, um, so yeah, with the, the text-to-speech as well. So um, say the student comes across a word that they're not familiar with, with the toolbar, they can just highlight that word pop open a dictionary definition and that will come up on the screen. There's a little play button here, so that can also be read aloud. We also have this nice little picture dictionary as well, which gives like a visual reference and a visual cue for that word just to help with the, the comprehension. And this is really great as well for um, like English language learners or children that are sort of starting to learn new words. We also have a translator tool. So again, like in international education, you might be allowing students to, to sort of switch between their home language and, and English to help with their understanding. And you can have all this open on the screen. And as you go through and maybe change the, the word here, all the dictionaries will update. So you can kind of have those off to the side there. It's given all of that support for comprehension. Um, see just some of the other reading features we have like uh, this screenshot reader so again this image has some text embedded in it but I can't actually click in there and play it because it's it's an image but I can use this screenshot reader tool and just draw around um, any sort of inaccessible text and that will run OCR, OCR in the background and then have that read out aloud as well. Fantastic that's great. So yeah, it's just making any kind of, uh, any text on the screen accessible for anybody. So again, Read and Write has so many different features in it. It's great for absolutely any student to use, but it's particularly beneficial for students with um, special educational needs like dyslexia or your um, English language learners or multilingual students. We also have this really great feature for students um, that maybe require like a color overlay. This is like the virtual version of it. So I can just um, flick that on and it will um, sort of color the screen. And again, within the settings, I can change that to my particular preference. I can change um, how dark that is. I can change the size of the reading light as well. So I can make that a bit bigger or I can make it a little bit smaller and just allow me to hone in and focus on the text. Great. So There's can... another video on this channel looking at Obinote from TextHelp, and some of these some of these features are also, I think, overlapping with what's available on, on Obinote. Are very similar. 
Yeah, absolutely. The, the two products work um, sort of really together to ensure yeah. accessibility across, you know, just wherever, um, wherever you're working. And that'll right. stay on just until you go up um, and switch it off. I'm going to pop quickly into um, a, a web page here just to show you the software functioning within there as well. So again, it will work across the whole the whole Google suite. So just popping into a web page, opening up the Read and Write toolbar. And again, you've got access to text to speech here as well. We've also got these dictionaries that can be used for lots in lots of different ways. So um, organizing work, categorizing, summarizing. Um, and if you're doing research, say for um, like a, an assignment or something, you can go through and highlight any key information that you find um, anywhere. Fantastic. On website, web pages or multiple web pages. Once you've highlighted that information, you can just come across to the collect highlights tool and you can see anytime I hover over these, the, the little um, name pops up to tell you what the feature is. Just click that, collect all the highlights together and that's going to pull out everything that you've highlighted into a separate document. Um, so it's just running in, in the background there. My Wi-Fi is probably running a little bit slow, but it's going to pull that out. Um, it's going to put it into this separate document and it's going to give you the reference of where you got that information from as well. So starting to help build up those kind of study and revision skills. Um, within the web page as well, we have this additional little button on the, the web page um, toolbar, which is called Simplify. So again, you can see here, there's lots of images um, on this page. There are sort of pop-ups and adverts and lots of distractions. So if you have a student that gets sort of very distracted by that, you can just have them click the Simplify page. What that'll do, again, it will strip away all of those distractions and just leave the text on the screen. Again, they can adjust how this looks. So maybe if they read um, better with white text on a black background, you can change the font. So there's lots of um, you know dyslexia friendly fonts here. You can change the size, you can change the spacing and just make that a lot more readable um, for the student. And again, you can simplify that further and strip it back um, to more simple text to adjust to the reading level of that particular student. Fantastic. Popping pop back um, into, into the document again, I will just quickly show you a few of the writing features. So again, we've got lots of reading support, lots of study and revision support. Um, we have... Um, things like maybe you have students that that struggle with reading but they're very good at absorbing information when they when they listen to it so you can take an entire piece of text um, and just highlight that pop up to this little audio maker icon click on that and it will create an mp3 document um, of um, of the text that you have there so again great for alternative a format of resources great for study and revision and kind of listening to that um, that on the go if you're studying for exams and things. Um, yeah, so just to pop into the writing features. Yep. That's just taking its time there in the background. But if I click um, in here, okay, and I want to, um, to start writing a sentence, I've got a few support features that'll help me here. So I can switch on word prediction. Okay, and it's gonna pop up a list of words uh, to help me start to craft a sentence. What I can also do at the same time, which, there we go. Uh, which I like to do is open up my dictionary and my picture dictionary and just have those set off to the side. So when I start to type here, okay, if I hover across these words as I'm typing, if I'm trying to um, select the correct word, I can hover over these and have the dictionary and the picture dictionary open at the same time. And it's going to give me um, the visual and the definition here. So it's helping me to select the correct words as I'm writing. Okay. Um, and one of the other writing support features that we have, just going to switch these off, is our talk and type. So again, you might have students that um, really struggle when it comes to writing. They're maybe not confident. Um, they make a lot of spelling mistakes, but they're really articulate and they're really good at explaining themselves um, when they are talking. Um, so again, they can use talk and type. Just switch this on and actually dictate what they want to say. Fantastic. Plate boundaries are the edges of the plates. 
full stop. Okay, and you can add in punctuation there. So and then you can see if it makes any mistakes, you can listen back to that. We would always recommend listening back to anything that you've dictated. With the text-to-speech function, you'll pick up any little mistakes that it might have made. We also have Check It, which is our like spelling, punctuation, grammar uh, checker that you can run as well um, and just listen back to it. Um, there's lots and lots more features on the toolbar, as you'll see here, things like voice notes. So um, again, that's fantastic. Say, again, if you have a student, um, maybe they're doing a slide presentation and they're really shy and they don't want to get up in front of the class and, and speak, they can actually record um, themselves, you know, voice notes to explain their slides and explain their learning um, and, and hand that in as well as a piece of work. So it's just giving those sort of alternative formats and means to uh, for students to express their learning. Again, there's lots and lots more um, on the toolbar there, Dan, but um, I don't want your your video to take up um, too much of somebody's time. So, No, that's fantastic. Well, this is just great to give um, a quick overview. And if you want to learn more, please get in touch with me, dan at appsevents.com. We'll put all the information on the screen. Uh, it's great for us. We work a lot with international schools. Obviously, there's a lot of English language learners and people who could really get a lot out of this tool. So please get in touch if you're interested and we'll give you a demo. Thanks, Carrie-Anne, for coming today. Thanks for having us, Dan. Take care.